A doctor at Rady Children's Hospital is calling attention to the rising diagnoses of attention deficit or hyperactivity disorder, known as ADHD, among kids. However, the doctor also notes that 60% of children with ADHD have another mental health concern. If you are concerned about your child's behavior, CBS 8's Abby Black breaks down what you need to know. Research shows one in 10 children in the U.S. is diagnosed with ADHD, and that number is rising here in San Diego since the pandemic. A child psychiatrist at Rady Children's Hospital explains what is ADHD, its overdiagnosis and misdiagnosis, and early intervention treatment. Attention deficit or hyperactivity disorder known as ADHD is a lifelong attention regulation condition, but there are some misnomers about the disease that's often found in children entering school. A lot of people think that ADHD is just children who can't pay attention, but they also do have an ability to hyperfocus. Rady Children's Hospital psychiatrist Dr. Willow Jenkins says the number of patients with ADHD is rising and there's a myth that it's being overdiagnosed. Young girls and minority populations or underserved populations, we know for sure that ADHD is actually underdiagnosed. Dr. Jenkins says that many factors about the rise in ADHD children are being studied. She says more children are not necessarily developing ADHD. Rather, there's been more awareness since the pandemic when parents were home with their kids. It's also being destigmatized, and there's a barrage of information in what she calls a culture of distraction. Whether it's phones beeping, social media alerts, teachers asking for assignments, school and sports, our children are really being bombarded with lots of different things to struggle to compete for their attention. Parents can help regulate by limiting screen time and app notifications, but most importantly, Dr. Jenkins says parents should not confuse ADHD for anxiety or autism. She encourages a child to undergo a clinical assessment with a pediatrician or psychiatrist. So there's no blood test for ADHD. There's no head scan for ADHD. There's no reason that you have to be paying thousands of dollars to get a diagnosis of ADHD. It's based on interview, talking to a parent, talking to the child, and and sometimes talking to the teachers as well. Doctors say in addition to treating ADHD with medication, there's therapy, coaching, and parents should involve their child in the conversation. That way, they can feel empowered about a treatment plan. The common thing I hear is, they're just going to want to put my child on medication. And I want to assure parents that's not the case at all. Early identification is so helpful because then we can plan for your child as they're entering school. Abby Black, CBS 8. This year we have